G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, findability of content is a struggle that many of you have, as uh, seen by the results of the LinkedIn poll that I have shared. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at how the use of metadata can help with uh, that findability of your documents. So you can see here that I'm in a SharePoint document library that we've built out with additional metadata columns. We can see we've got our name of our document, our functions, our document type, we've got review date, document owner, and document status as well. So they're our additional metadata that we've added to our library in addition to all of the out of the box system metadata like created, created by, modified and modified by, and you can see the ID column here. Now. Given that this is a flat document library, it's just a flat lot uh, of documents. So there's no uh, folders in sight or anything like that. How do we create a nice user experience in a way that users can find documents in this library? Well, we're gonna go through three different ways in which we can do that. So the first way is going to be around creating views of this library. So using our metadata fields here, what we can do is we can chain or filter our, um, our view of our library. So the first thing we're going to do is head up to our view menu, which is called all documents. And then what we're going to do is go create a new view. So we are going to say, let's look at uh, legal, uh, we'll go legal documents. All right, so we've got our uh, column here called functions. Now, one of the options in our choice field here is legal. So all we're gonna do is we are going to say, group uh, filter by legal, and we're going to hit apply. So now what we've got is a view of this document library. So just think about this library that could potentially have hundreds, if not thousands of documents in it. We don't wanna view it in a single flat list we might wanna create a, a different experience and uh, just say that, let's show me all the legal documents or some other type of function. So what we can now do is we can just save this view as legal documents, okay? So now we've got a document. We've got all documents and now we've got an additional one called legal documents. Now let's take this a little bit of a step further. Maybe we want legal proposals, okay? So now let's create a new view, create a new view. Uh, let's call this legal proposals and we'll hit create. So now the same thing, we're going to say filter by the legal function, but also by proposals. And now we've got a filtered view of our library for legal proposals. So we're gonna save this view and we'll hit save. So there's a way in which we can create different views of our document library, which means that we can then have a really customized view of those documents, making it easy to find certain types of documents or even just all documents that are part, in this case, of our functions. So let's have a look at another approach. So here again, it's a big flat list of documents. The other way that we can do this is around grouping. So again, we can say, let's group by functions. And now all of a sudden, we've got the ability to have a quick look and say, I know I'm looking for a policy for from the, the HR team. There's our functions. So rather than looking at a big flat list, we can say, click on human resources, and there are our human resources documents. Now from here, What's really good here is we can go save view as, and we're going to say uh, human resources documents or policy, let's say policies. All right, we'll make this a public view. And now we've just created a new view, but you can see it's grouped by the function. So what we might wanna do, we don't need to group it by a function because we already know the function. So we're going to turn this off and then we're going to save this view as that view there as well, all right? So there we go, another way, grouping our documents inside of our library based on a metadata column. Now, another way that we can uh, create, now we're gonna extend a little bit and use those views again. So we might wanna create a, like a little dashboard of, of, um, of links. Okay, so I'm gonna jump onto our homepage of the Copilot Studio communication site. I'm gonna create a new page. I'm just gonna create a blank page for now. And we will call this one document dashboard, all right? 
So we'll go and click in here, we'll go document dashboard. And what we're going to do is we are going to just put the quick links web part on the page. All right, so we'll go, uh, we'll remove our text web part. We'll go add a web part and we are going to say our quick links. All right, so we'll go quick links and this gives us the ability here to be able to add like a little dashboard. So what we, how about we go and we'll categorize this by, let's go by function. All right, so let's go uh, legal function as the title. And then what we can do is we can add links, all right? So I'm going to jump back into our uh, our document library. So let me just refresh. It's not the control documents, but it's policies. And I'm going to jump up to my view here. So I'm going to say legal documents. So I'm gonna copy the link to this view. So it's got a view ID and it's got a URL. I'll jump back onto my dashboard. I'll go add a link and I'll go from a link and now I can paste that URL of that that um, that view there. I'm going to paste that there. Then I can change the name of this particular uh, or the title. So I'm going to say all legal documents. All right. So we'll go all legal documents, and let's have a uh, new icon, and we'll give this an icon to say. Let's see if we've got anything for legal. We don't. Let's just go office maybe and we'll go this one, all right? So we'll choose that and it's all office, all legal documents. We might then want to add another link to, because we've got another view here of legal proposals. So again, I'm just gonna copy the link and then I'll pop back in here, I'll go from a link, I'll paste the link to the legal proposals this time in this view. So rather than all legal documents, I'm going to say legal uh, policies and we'll go library we'll change another icon here so let's use the graph symbol here for our legal policies so we could continue on and build out these little dashboards of links that then point to our views that we've created in our document library all right so another really good way to enhance the findability of your content if it's structured correctly or structured in a good manner inside of that document library so let me hit the publish button and now these, these links are just gonna take me directly to that particular view. There's our legal proposals. Uh, and if I go hit the back button, this will take me to all of my legal documents here. And you can see that these are all the documents that have been uh, classified or tagged with that particular function. All right. so using a couple of different ways, uh, using the metadata that we've set up in our document library, we can really enhance the way that users can find the documents. Even though that it is a flat list and there's no hierarchy and there's no, um, there's no folders or structure like that, we can use our views that we can create, our custom views that we can create, but also with a little bit of training and user education, a user can even come to this all documents uh, view. So if I go to all documents, this is another approach, is um, our, our training and user education. So I, I might say, um, show me, I wanna see, show me the approved documents. So all of a sudden, I've now got my approved documents. So I don't need to double click and get inside folders. And let's say we've got a, a structure of a function, a document type, document status, which is a, a common approach. I don't need to do that anymore. I've got a flat list and I can just say, right, show me the approved documents for uh, human resources. And now I've got with a couple of clicks, I've got the documents that I'm looking for. So another great way. So there's three ways there. So being able to chain our, uh, our filters together and uh, we can create our views, which in turn creates a URL for that particular view, which then allows us to uh, create a dashboard of links that we just saw before. So let me just pop back to that view again or that page again. There's our document dashboard. So we could create a really nice uh, user experience using links and directly to that, the views of the library. So I hope that brings you some value today. Using metadata, uh, it is a pain point or a struggle that people have um, that you've, you've shown me in the results of that survey about finding documents. 
there's a good approach or three different types of approaches using metadata to create a better experience.